Now, the former Vice President of the United States, Mike Pence, refrained from voicing his support for Donald Trump's 2024 re-election candidature, with some critics noting that sometimes silence can speak louder than words. During an interview with a prominent U.S. TV network, Pence stated that he is very confident about the public having better choices by 2024. Pence also said different times call for different leadership. Pence's reluctance to support Trump worries Republicans, as this could mean splitting the party at a time of securing an official nomination for the 2024 presidential elections. And looks like Pence is not alone. American TV news network Fox News is reportedly shadow banning the former U.S. president after a number of Trump-endorsed Republicans lost the midterm elections. According to Trump aides, he is facing an unofficial ban at Fox News, well, looking at the fact the that Trump has not involved. been on the channel since so September. Meanwhile, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has become more frequent on the news channel. So far, former U.S. President Donald Trump, South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, and Vivek Ramaswamy, a biotech entrepreneur, are the only declared candidates for the Republican nomination. However, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is also widely expected to run and is proving to be Trump's only challenger in polling so far. Mike Pence and Nikki Haley have been scoring similarly in the surveys conducted. Now, he previously served as the 48th Vice President of the United States from 2017 to 2021 under then-President Donald Trump. The for more on this, our correspondent Susan Tehrani has sent us this report from New York. During a recent CBS interview, former Vice President Mike Pence was twice given a chance to say whether or not he supports his former boss, Donald Trump, or not. And ultimately, he replied by saying, I'm very confident we'll have better choices come 2024. And while much attention has been given to Mike Pence's vague non-answer, perhaps more attention should be given to the fact that Mike Pence has not outright said that I will not support Donald Trump in 2024. And he's not alone. For example, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, who's already thrown her hat in the race for 2024 and is officially running against her former boss, Donald Trump, as opposed to Mike Pence, who said that he'll make a decision soon. She, Nikki Haley is constantly asked the same question, and she continues to tiptoe around Donald Trump, saying, for example, that she's focused on the Biden administration and President Biden's policies and how she's focused on beating, ultimately, the Democratic candidate. However, at the end of the day, should any official from the Republican side end up on the debate stage with Donald Trump, they will have to answer that question and pick a side. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is One.